day two at UDT 2017 in Bremen, Germany. This year there are over 90 exhibitors from 30 countries showcasing their latest underwater technologies. We are introducing our new lightweight torpedo, Torpedo 47, that we received a contract from uh, Swedish FMV for uh, uh, development and, and production. So we are now introducing the next generation of the, of the existing successful TP45. So it's, it's uh, externally, it, it, it's very similar to, to the existing tor torpedo, but it's the next generation of technology. So basically everything within the torpedo is new. So we, we are building uh, the, the torpedo on the success factors from, from the previous one. So everything good we will introduce into this one as well. But it's new technology, so it's uh, a fully digitalized uh, seeker. Uh, it's, it's a lithium battery, uh, it's an electrically driven motor and, and, uh, and a pump jet. Uh, it's, it's we're keeping the, the, the key factors uh, that, that makes it very successful in, in, in the Baltic areas with, with littoral capacity, uh, neutral buoyancy. Um, we are uh, being able to launch the torpedo from, from uh, submarines, surface ship and, and uh, helicopters as well. Lockheed Martin is showcasing its S301i dry submersible. Lockheed Martin teamed with Submergence Group to develop this dry man submersible. It is a dry submersible that supports two operators, the pilot and navigator, plus up to six swimmers with the ability to lock them out and in. The dry, one atmosphere environment of this vehicle provides an alternative to the traditional wet submersible being used by the US and international special forces communities today and it delivers operators to their destination in better physical conditions to complete a mission. The S301i has a length of 7.25 meters. It can dive up to 30 meters in dry conditions. It has an endurance of 24 hours, a range of 45 nautical miles at 3 knots and a maximum speed of 7.5 knots. Lockheed Martin is also showcasing this earliest impression of the follow-on S302 dry man submersible. The S302 design draws heavily on the operationally proven S301i hardware and has improved hydrodynamics and propulsion that contribute to its overall performance upgrades. Compared to its predecessor, the S302 is slightly longer with a length of 9.46 meters and has better performances with a range of 60 nautical miles at 5 knots. What we have here is our submarine command team trainer. It consists of three multifunction consoles together with a periscope and a control station, steering station for the own ship movement. Actually, the multifunction consoles are configured with the first two consoles as sonar consoles. In the background of the middle console, there is a radar console inside. The last console is actually configured as a command and control console additionally with the functionalities of a weapon console. So we have a torpedo, a heavyweight torpedo, controllable 
on the right console and as well we have the missile simulation on the right on the right console. It's used for training the submarine team on land in the, in the house that they can check uh, how they can communicate, how they can work together and uh, handle the control. So what we have here is our periscope. The periscope is the same look and feel as on board. We have the same knobs, the same controlling, everything what you need for manage the, the situation. You can use here as a button. It is connected to the real system. I have inside the consoles the real picture as well. I can look here inside and I see the picture same as you see in the wall. I can set a lot of filters inside and can make a normal view. I can make a low level light view as infrared view. I can make measurements, graphical measurements that I can make the, measure the distance from us to the target with a, a graphical and as well with the laser range measurement equipment. This data I can collect and can hand over with keys to the console that the person who sits on the command and control con uh, console has the information with bearing and range what I have detected with the periscope. You see here this is a modern steering station for in the, as multifunctional console because you can simulate different kinds of uh, submarines with one console. You see here this is a modern steering station for in the, as multifunctional console because you can simulate different kinds of uh, submarines with one console. This system is equipped with uh, changeable panels. You can change the, the operating panels from touchscreen to real operating panels depending on the submarine layout. And also we have uh, touchscreens, so if you change the exercise of the simulator, it needs only a few seconds, you change automatically the HMI of the steering station. On the left uh, screen, if you, if you select uh, the other display, you see the virtual representation of the um, operating elements. Example here, the air water management station. And behind, we have the full submarine control simulator because uh, this steering station is one component uh, of a, a platform simulator. Uh, the full mission uh, submarine control simulator uh, includes a motion system. The motion system represents two degrees of freedom of a submarine, the pitch and the roll, and the, we are simulating the control room of a submarine. So this is a lightweight dry suit used for special ops in the UK. Uh, we, we're tier one suppliers to the MOD in the UK, so um, all the equipment we supply is non-magnetic. Uh, we have a big range of dry suits, uh, neoprene, membrane, uh, we've got Kevlar suits as well, and we can design a suit especially for your needs, any colour you want, any design. We have specialist suits for um, mine clearance. Um, the suits are, are mostly neoprene suits, uh, full black suits, and they are, again, non-magnetic. Non all these bits, we've got like the BCD, they're all manufactured by us, Northern Diver, um, as well as the dry suits, masks, they're all our own brand, um, and the gloves as well. Designed 100% of the customer's requirements, um, so obviously the customer can come to us and say we need a suit, uh, a, blue, a blue suit, which is going to be camouflage in the water, and we can design a suit, any, any suit you like. Um, we can change the knee pads on them, we can have elbow protection, seat protection, like this suit here, it's got, as we call it, a P-slot for when you need the toilet. Um, and again, it's all non-magnetic as well. As you see, we have uh, three kinds of uh, masks. Then you have the radar mast here, uh, the, the LPI uh, radar. Uh, this uh, uh, compact radar, which one of the smallest one in uh, submarine in the world that we have here. The search optronic mass including up to six sensors inside, which have which give a panoramic view, uh, 360 panoramic view, uh, is a gap of technology comparing to other competitors that we have. Then 
high performance and, um, as I said, up to six uh, sensors. And the attack optronic mast, same, up to six sensors, but it's challenging because it's, we have a diameter of 13 centimeters. And the attack is one of the stealthiest one in the world. As you see, is uh, developed now for, uh, for Barracuda class, all of them, by the end, and we are promoting this for the new program of submarine in the world. For the search optronic mast, uh, mainly, I mean, we have uh, all these scorpion around the world. I mean, um, Malaysia, Chile, Brasilia, India, and so on. We, uh, we just, two years ago, then we are uh, we, are, we contract with the uh, Kaisers 3 in Korea for Sweden uh, A19 and A26, the most then uh, that we have, and we have many other prospects around the world. Regarding the attack, uh, we just developed this last two years, I mean, for Barracuda class, and we are promoting it for our customers. There's interest from, for Korea and also for Sweden. Regarding the uh, radar, we are we, we, we are on board the Barracuda class, the Scorpion class, also the Noli and the Riken in Singapore. And we, are, we have many prospects around the world and mainly with the LPI mode.